Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. So I was gonna do this as a live stream, but I changed my mind because I don't actually have a lot of time. And yeah, so I wanted to do a little bit of farming. Um, As you can see, I've gotten very into zeal life and I have some really cool things coming as far as the zeal life stuff comes. So just, so just hang tight. But today, where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. I'm amazed that, like, I haven't died in this game. <laughs> because everything is always on, like, zero. So I need to plant some more stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to water the stuff that needs to be water. And then I'm going to start planting. So... We're just gonna actually we're gonna start over here. Ah, there we go. Okay, as usual, I needed to sneeze a bunch of times. So harvesting and watering stuff is really easy in this game. But when you have this kind of thing instead of this kind of thing. You have to click, you can't click on the dirt because the thing won't come up. You have to click on the green parts. And then take this and then I'll sort it in my inventory in a little bit. So I'm just gonna harvest all of this stuff. Oops, nope, nope, nope. Take. And then just gonna click on this little green leafy part. And then a little menu is going to pop up on the right side of your screen. And then you're just going to press harvest. And then it takes about three or four seconds. And then you could just right click and then take. Same thing. You click it. This menu come up. Harvest. And then you take. And then I'll replant stuff over there as soon as I um we get back around to that. I just want to water and harvest right now. Okay, so for watering, very easy, just like harvesting, you're gonna click it and then this thing is gonna come up and instead of where it says water, that's where the harvest button was, you're just gonna click water, that's it. It's really simple. And then you will see, it'll look like this after where the little time remaining is. And then some of these will take longer, some of them are shorter. Like celery, it's every four hours and um, I think it's about four or five cycles that you have to do that through. Don't quote me on that though. It's really simple. It's just a matter of um, remembering to do this every day or every four hours or so. And then some of them, as you can see, like over here where I did this potato, um, <clears throat> you can see it's 12 hours. So yeah. Some things take longer, some things are shorter. Like the potatoes are 12 hours. I think tomatoes are longer. I think they're 17 hours. Don't quote me on that. It's very time consuming, but it's really just a waiting game. That's why it's so time consuming, but it's really simple. It's not, you know, overly difficult. I really need to get my stats up though, before I do mess around and like kill myself in this game. Harvest, harvest, and then take, take, and we're going to replant that a little later. Anything else need to be harvested uh, or watered? Yeah, this stuff over here needs to be watered. So we're going to start over here. Hopefully I don't need to buy anything. I, I'm pretty sure I have already farming. I'm just going to slip this over here. I'm pretty sure I have already, um, oof, crap, this is going to be fun. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start planting stuff. And let's see, I already started with a potato right here. Don't ask me why this is not like all potatoes. It just, I ran out of a few things and then so I just filled in the gaps where I could. Anyway, tomato, carrot. Do I not have any more potatoes? I guess not. All 
right, whatever. I'm just going to... Whatever I already have, we're going to use that. We already have four things of celery here. So we're just going to do that. And planting is all also really simple. Uh, it comes in packs of five and it's pretty inexpensive actually. All of the stuff. I think like some of them are 25 linden. Some of them are even zero linden. So yeah, it's not like really expensive. And then the actual plots and the actual pieces of thing that you use to plant. These are this barrel right here, I believe it's like 99 linden. And then these are also 99 linden as well. So they're not like expensive. Uh, we have one more thing of celery I'm going to put out. One more thing of celery. And then we're going to start watering all this stuff. Water. Water. One thing I noticed about these is um, you do have to be careful about how far away from you are from it. Otherwise, it might not do it correctly, especially when you're trying to do a bunch at the same time like I am. And we're going to go ahead and do these. And again, I don't have any more potato seeds, so I'm just going to use what I already have before I start opening up anything else. Uh, do I not? Okay. I'm just going to use these tomatoes because I already have them there. And then I'm going to start cracking open some of my other seeds. Okay, water and then water. See, here is the tomato time, which says 16 hours and 33 minutes. So yeah, we have tomatoes at 16 hours and you have to do that four or five times, I believe. And then there's celery every four hours. And then every four hours is when you water it or every 16 hours, depending on the item. Like after that time is up, that's when it'll be ready to water again. And we need to do this little row back here. But I'm going to start opening up the carrots. Yeah, I'm going to open up some of these carrots. Um, oh, and one thing I'm one thing to note, you have to be different levels for different items. Um, I believe the potato is a level zero. And then as you can see from my little menu here, carrots are level one and then tomato are level two. And the more you like plant stuff and farm, it's so easy to level up. It, it's pretty quick, honestly. And now I am at level... Uh, let's see. I'm already at level like 27. And then I mostly just farm. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to open up one of these things of carrots. And then each thing is five. I give you for uh, farming, whatever vegetables you buy, it's always going to be five. Delete. Yes. And then, oops. I'm going to transfer these over. Usually it puts it in a folder for you, but um, the carrots don't do that for some reason. All right. So we're going to start... Putting these out, plant. But yeah, all of this is very simple, inexpensive to play with. I'm really excited about the cooking update. Like, I don't know when that's gonna drop, but I'm really excited. I wanna be prepared. Really excited. Water water okay I believe I've gotten everything over here everything over here so now we just need to do these over here for our okay all right I'm gonna step closer because I don't want any problems with this stuff okay so should I do more carrots or tomatoes. 
You know, I want to shake it up a little bit. I don't want to just do all of one thing just in case. I like to have a variety of things. My voice always sounds so clear until I sit down to record. It's actually quite rude every time. I don't know what what it is about this microphone. Tomato. And then I think the next one is probably going to be like carrot or something. Whoops. Clicked it too many times. All right, so now we're going to go back and water these. And like I said, you just click on the little green leafy part for this thing. And then for the barrels, you pretty much can just click like anywhere. Plant. All right, how many rows do I have left? Okay, I just have one more row left after this. And I still have plenty of seeds. Yay. I just need to go and get some more potatoes though. I'm gonna have like plenty of everything, so. After I'm done with this, I'm gonna go and get some more potatoes. Or, no, nah, I'll just go in world store. It'd be easier to bulk buy in world instead of doing it through the marketplace. Okay, so I'm gonna do some tomatoes and then, actually while I'm here, I'm gonna move these ingredient potatoes to, uh, where is it? Food, okay, no, no, no. Ingredients, potatoes. Oh, wow. Yeah, I need to get um, all of my inventory up. I have more, like, in this folder is where I've boxed up everything ready to sell. And then in each of these different boxes, there's five of each. So I've been a busy worker bee. I'll show you what the boxes look like when I'm done with this um, last row. No, this is not. I need to be in the seeds. All right, I relogged. Let's see. There we go. I found my tomatoes. Good. So now I can delete this. All right, good. My thing is still on. So we can go ahead and start watering. Okay, so now we're going to start watering everything. Plant water. Also, I feel like I'm not talk to you all in a minute. And I know I said I was gonna be getting a Discord set up, but I, I don't know, every time I think about making it public, I get really nervous. Like nobody's in it right now, except for me. It's basically just used as a storage unit. So I basically rented a place specifically for farming and stuff. So I don't have to worry about, you know, landowners getting upset about it. And I'm not about to buy my own land. The place that I'm renting from, you know, is fairly inexpensive. And and actually buying land is costly. And, you know, I'm just not about that life. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Okay, so all this is done. All right. Whew, that was very time consuming. So I'm thinking about also maybe food. Let me put these away. Ingredients, potatoes, ingredients. I don't think I, I don't have any tomatoes, so I can't. Yeah, I don't really have enough of anything right now to box up. Everything's been, oh wait. I could do some tomato potatoes. I do that off camera. It's just a little time consuming, but um, yeah. Anyway, so you know what? I've I've just decided I'm gonna open up my Discord. So by the time I get this video edited, I'm gonna finish adding some channels or any bots that I might need for it. 
and I'm going to make the Discord public. I don't know if anyone's really going to be interested in joining, but I will leave the link to my Discord in the description down below. And I don't know if I can add it to that little um, thing up at the right hand corner, but if I can, I will add it to that. I do know how to add stuff to it. I just don't know if I'll be able to do like a Discord link to it up in that corner, but down below for sure in the description will be a link to my discord and that's where we can talk about second life and then i'll even add a gaming channel for like other games that we might be into that is not second life maybe like a shopping channel role play channel i don't know i have a lot of ideas so if you are interested in hanging out with me i do spend a great deal of my time in discord so yeah Anyway, thank you for clicking on this video. If you enjoyed this content, hitting the like button would be super awesome. It would be very helpful. Also, all of my social medias will be flashing across the screen right now. I'm trying to be more active on Twitter. Also, now that you can actually post um, on Instagram from your PC, I want to be more active on Instagram because I don't keep Twitter, Discord, Instagram, I don't keep any of those on my phone and it's mostly for mental health purposes because just keeping all of that stuff on my phone is just not good for my own mental health. Um, but yeah, now that you can actually post on PC on Instagram, I want to be more active on there. So yeah, follow me on the things. Also, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It is 100% free. I also have, I do use Twitch. I play Sims over there. Uh, sometimes I play Animal Crossing, sometimes I play Stardew Valley, but I mostly play Sims 4. So yeah, anyway, if you want to see more Zeo Life videos, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see more dress up videos, let me know down in the comments. I want to know what kind of videos you guys want to see me make. I know I've not done any BU, BU videos in a while, but I've been having a lot of fun with Zeo Life. And it's not as expensive as BU, but I do still love BU. It's just... I feel like every time I turn around, they're doing a kitchen update. <laughs> and then I have to switch out my kitchen and then I get tired of switching it out. So I'm just, I'm holding out for this Zeal Life kitchen. So yeah, I'm sorry. That probably sounded terrible. I am not pinning these two apps against each other. They're both great in their own ways. I just, Zeal Life is healthier for my wallet. Not even gonna lie. It's why I don't really do a lot of dress up videos either because doing a lot of those weekend sales and following all the trends, it gets kind of expensive and it's not that I can't afford it. It's just, I don't know. This is not really ugh, healthy for my wallet to just be spending all this money on all this weekend sales when in reality, I probably would not have spent all of that money on those sales or in those shops had it not been for those sales. Probably doesn't make sense. Maybe I'll do like a whole sit down I've not done the thoughts from the couch video in a while, so maybe that'll be the topic of my next thoughts from the couch video, you know, shopping and second life and, you know, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyway, bye-bye everyone. Have a great day. I don't really like how that sounded. I need to work on my outro.